What if a zombie apocalypse broke out right before World War II? I have a map of the world here in 1939. Poland has been partitioned already by the Soviet Union and no-no Germans. Also, I believe these are the no-no Germans literally invading France right now, who, who has nothing. So the World War has actually already started, and then China is obviously in chaos against Japan. Now just to figure out where we want our patient zero to come from. I'm actually thinking South America, since literally nothing ever happens here. And I feel like it makes sense that some sort of zombie plague would break out in the Amazon rainforest. Who knows what's back there? This poor soul has no idea what I'm gonna do to him. So the first zombies have been infected, or at least he's turning into a zombie right now. Now, it's technically possible for the Brazilians to- Wow, they just came and maybe obliterated everyone. Okay, we actually might have to do that again. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, wait a second. This might slowly- I mean, it's gonna take a while, but with time- Oh, you know what's interesting is that there's even some help- Uh, is this France? Oh no, that's the British Empire. The British Empire even helped to take down the zombies a bit. But this is definitely gonna take some time, which means that World War II is still gonna be able to play out. We're gonna see a lot of crazy results in Europe, because zombies won't be making it into this part and affecting all the fighting that's happening in the Eastern Hemisphere. At least not for a while. It's technically possible for the Nono Germans to maybe capitulate the USSR. I'm guessing this is actually Stalin running around in the Siberian world. Wilderness, because he just likes to do that sometimes. All right, already Brazil is having a really tough time keeping up. Okay, this, I, what, what was even that? Bodies are just getting thrown around everywhere. I absolutely love how this map has all the colonial territories from the French and British empires. We even got Papua New Guinea and uh, the Dutch over here. Looks like the Germans are already beginning to think about an Operation Barbarossa. They're lining up a lot of troops along the border, but they haven't gone to war just yet. Or I wonder if uh, Hilter sees that there's some sort of chaos playing out in Brazil. Does this change everything? Does he know about the zombie invasion yet? Did they even know what zombies were back in WW2? Clearly, from satellite imagery, something really bad is happening in the Amazon. I'm not sure if the British are going to help, or maybe the British have focused a lot of their forces on some sort of mystery that's happening in this forest. Uh, you probably don't... Can the zombies get on the boats? That's how they can transport this virus to pretty much every continent on the earth. Well, except for Antarctica. That's just some rocks asking for seven likes. There's a lot of Swiss moving through uh, French territory. Wait, wait, what, what is this? Oh, I thought something was on fire. What are the Swiss doing in Portugal. I'm kind of confused about that. Achievement unlocked. World Wars. The World Wars have begun. France is moving in after, uh, well, actually, France is moving in to help the Dutch. Germany, I think, is focused on, did they already take Denmark, or was Denmark not included? Okay, uh, Germany has already made the Dutch fall, or they burnt down something. Sweden is not neutral in this world. Sweden, or is this Norway? Wait a second. France is actually gaining territory. Are they gonna end World War II before it even begins? Meanwhile, Sweden has just joined the Nono Germans. They, I, I don't know if they did that peacefully, or or what? They're definitely going to be using those railroads now. However, there are a lot more French. Oh my, are these the Soviets moving in? The Soviets are attacking what I think is Bavaria. These, th th that's a lot of Russians. There's only a hundred Germans. Okay, the Germans are going down. The Germans are going down, but maybe the Brazilians? There's still 600 Brazilians running around. Though every once in a while, a zombie does pop up. And I believe they are getting aid from these other countries. The Germans have actually already fa Oh, actually, they haven't fallen completely. They're holding on inside of Dutch territory. Also, there is still Italy, and then some chaos is happening between Japan and China, of course. How does Brazil have technically more people than the U.S.? There's a certain point in any zombie apocalypse where, like, the whole thing tips over and they can't uh, just keep killing all the all the zombies, you know what I mean? Like right now the armies are just running around like a chicken with their head cut off, trying to find everyone that gets infected, but eventually they're gonna run out of army members. And then this country will collapse, and then there's gonna be an army of zombies that start to move all towards these neighboring areas. Ecuador is gonna be pretty easy to collapse, there's only 12 people here. Wait, is there a whole separate war happening? Is are, I think Bolivia is maybe attacking, or I don't know. This is a lot of movement. I like this little windmill they have here though. Okay, Germany has now completely fallen. This is now uh, mostly... Wait, Norway territory? Norway has taken over some things. Also, there's a ton of Russians running straight through they're, they're getting on this boat. What What is happening here? What, what is going on in this little boat? Right, I'm really confused. Or, or wait, are, were these British? Maybe these were British people that were helping out. They were fighting the Russians. What What is this boat doing? <gasps> oh no, are, they're going to Brazil. They're going to uh, British Guyana to help out against the zombie invasion. Now that the Germans are dealt with. Oh no, they're going to the Panama. Okay, wait, never mind. Maybe they're focused on something else. Oh, uh, even the Panama's in this map. This is crazy. Are, are these U.S. citizens? Oh, maybe these are U.S. people? They, they were already there helping out in, in Europe. What were they doing all in Russia? Wow, these this is just a whole army base in Alaska. And they all just was like, all right, we're done here. We, we destroyed all the Germans by... Now the big question is, with an, like a quick... Oh, see, something else is happening. 
Some, some sort of other war. That's what I'm thinking. Now the Soviets become the big bad guy. With a no-no skinny mustache, man. I think the Soviets will take out the, the helm. Because they eliminated the no-no Germans in like a single year. Maybe, maybe in like six months. So that was not traumatizing enough to humanity. They have not learned their lesson. And I think the Soviets will now see that. The problem is that Brazil is on the verge of complete collapse. This is a whole army of zombies already. Surrounding nations are now trying to fight back the zombies. Like Peru, Bolivia, Chile. Argentina is ready to go. They are prepared, but they don't want to enter into Paraguayan territory. Oh, nope. They're going to do it anyways. Because Paraguay is about to collapse. There's only six Paraguayan that are keeping this thing alive. I just want to know if the zombies are going to get on the boats. Do they have experience uh, with naval technology? Oh, how did this happen? Okay, I think the boat... I'm in Africa right now. Okay, so zombies do know how to maneuver ships. I thought there was a separate war happening in Africa. I did not think they were going to get here already. You know what? Maybe uh, like a human crossed the Atlantic before they got sick, and then once they landed on these shores, they got sick, and then all this happened. Look at all- what is that? Okay, there's huge armies being sent around the continent. I, I don't know if- there are wars still happening, so maybe that's also causing a distraction. You guys need to really peace out, though. You guys need to chill with the wars because, uh, the zombies are gonna be chaotic enough. Which means that more than likely they will be getting to North America. I think it's safe to assume. But everything is fine here in the U.S. for now. France only has three citizens. Is France even in Europe anymore? No, France has fallen. Is this Portugal that has this? Oh no, it's the Italians. The Italians lost the Italian Peninsula. They have France, though. Also, the Italians have extended a little bit inside of- wait, this is Ethiopia. Uh, they might be collab- now, it's possible for the humans to kick out- no, it probably isn't. I was gonna say, it's possible if the zombie infection wasn't too bad in Africa for them to have stopped it. Probably impossible to stop it here in- South America is, is done. South, South America is left with just Chile with one person. Somehow, it started in the Amazon, but Brazil is still going. That's actually just impressive. Now, I don't think they're going to be able to cross, cross the Panama for now. This is just going to be the zombie continent for a second. My money is mostly on Australia and New Zealand surviving, although New Zealand only has eight people. The islands, I think, are going to be pretty safe. So there are zombies in modern-day Libya, which this is actually controlled by the, uh, is it by Norway? Oh, no, this is all Japanese land. Wait, 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 how did the Japanese get this? So maybe there were a bunch of uh, uh, fascist sympathizers from the former Italian and German territories. They decided to join Japan. So the problem is Japan is now facing this zombie apocalypse. Let's hope they do not take it back to their home islands. Well, actually, maybe we should because Japan was pretty horrible in World War II. I think things look pretty peaceful right now in Europe. Look at this really weird Iceland. What is even happening? I oh, they're just penguins. This is normal Icelandic population. And with the final eight Brazilians eliminated from this earth, uh, civilization has entirely collapsed in this continent and it's gone. There it is. It is just ruled by huge hordes of zombies and they're just like lighting everything on fire. Are they lighting everything on fire? Or like, is there just a fire that no one's like putting out? Technically, the zombie situation has not gotten any worse worse in Africa, but it also hasn't gotten any better, clearly. The Egyptians are trying their best to stop them, but I don't know if it's gonna work. Mongolia has just been annexed by China. Mongolia, see, I'm thinking there's gonna be a lot more consolidation from the civilizations around the earth, because they're, they're starting to get a little scared. They're seeing, we're on the verge of a- Canada, what did you do? What did you do, Canada? The U.S. just jo the what? Are they, are there zombies up here? No. I think there's a fight happening between the United States- I don't- there is a fight. There's no zombies here. There's just a random war in North America. And I think the Canadians eliminated us. Yes. I- the US is still here, but we're hiding in Alaska. You guys gotta stop fighting each other. We also have the British going after Ireland. There's only 30 people on this island. Egypt has now been destroyed, but uh, it's Saudi Arabia that has taken over the territory for them. The problem with the zombies in Africa is it, it is gonna be pretty easy for them to- well, maybe not easy, but they're, they are going to be able to make it to Asia. We also have Norway falling, falling under the Japanese Empire. The USSR has just declared war on Japan, so this is a huge world war that's happening. All the while, Africa is probably going to be the next continent to collapse. China has now consolidated with India. Also, there was a, a single zombie that took a look at the Panama Canal, but didn't decide to... Yeah, this guy's like, uh, you guys coming over here? Nope, not yet. All right, cool. Yeah, the US is being uh, sieged here, and I think they might be forced to join the Canadians. Or no, they are going to be forced to join... They would rather join Mexico than join the Canadians. I like the way the Alaska thinks. So now there's going to be a war between Canada and Mexico, it appears. We also have China actually slowly taking over the map. A lot of China is like trying to eat up Africa, but you don't want this part of Africa. Trust me, China. This is this is not going to be fun for you. We also have the Netherlands that took over uh, Madagascar from the French. South Africa is looking pretty big, but oh, it doesn't it doesn't matter. It, it does not matter. Will there be a human civilization that can wipe out all the other civilizations before everyone gets wiped out? 
out by the zombies. Definitely possible. There will be a couple safe areas on the map, I think, like Greenland. Both China and the USSR have actually kicked out a lot of Japan from continental Asia. They still hold the Korean Peninsula, though. What is this? What 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 is this? Why is there a huge army hiding in the corner? Is that China or... I don't know who that is. Oh, that is, that's Greenland for some reason. Greenland, get your army back onto your island. Oh, Canada's taking out Mexico and Mexico, Mexican Alaska. Never said that before. It is possible. I think if Canada gets like a fresh hold over North America, maybe they'll be able to keep this continent safe. The problem is the boats. That's going to be the big issue. They need to probably close down their harbors. No, don't let any boats come. I don't know if the AI is that smart. Even Greenland can fall and technically Canada will probably still be okay. British Empire is now at war with Ireland and Portugal for some reason. Are there, there are zombies now inside of Europe. I don't know how they got here, but they did. There are, there's still a territory being held inside of Africa and by China, but it's, it's not going well. And they have also made it to, oh, South Africa has just completely collapsed. China's still trying to eat up territory though. I don't know why. Madagascar is going to be okay. I think the Dutch are fine. There's a lot of, there's, they're trying to shoot arrows across from Madagascar. I mean, hey, every little bit counts. Slowly but surely, slowly dwindling down that zombie population. The Philippines have been pretty peaceful during this campaign. Oh, huge amounts of zombies now in the USSR. The islands will be okay, but I don't know how these zombies are making such easy jumps. I, maybe the islands won't be okay, especially when there's not much of a difference. Like when there's not much space here. Like they're, they're very easily a human that was recently infected could just kind of walk over. You guys got to close the ports. Close the ports right now. Saudi Arabia has collapsed and the next will probably be Iran. The zombies are even in India. Have they made it to China yet? They have not made it to China, but the, the militaries are preparing. There's only 17 Japanese left. They did lose the Korean Peninsula. And Canada is on the verge of annexing Greenland. I think Canada knows what's going on here. They see the writing on the wall. They're slowly beginning to eat up territory to prepare for the undead. The walking dead have begun. They're trying to make it over. It is possible for them to do this. Maybe don't go fishing off the shore next to... I, I don't know. It just doesn't seem like a good idea. So far, the zombies have uh, really improved Brazil, I believe. Brazil looks... I think kind of nice around here. I like their architecture, just kind of the dark buildings. You don't see that often. Turkey's around somehow, but I I don't I don't know how. Now, the zombies are gonna have a tough time actually eliminating all of the USSR because there's still a thousand people here, and they're spread out through. I mean, obviously the USSR is the biggest country on the map. Turkmenistan, a lot of other places are gonna fall before Russia, I believe. China is trying their best, but. Not even the Great Wall is going to save them here. Tibet too, next to fall. What they needed were like the Himalayas to be included. It looked like there were a couple of Filipino citizens that were dying, but I think they're actually okay. Maybe they're just fighting each other, fighting amongst each other. Okay, Indonesia uh, is now China's territory. Oh, because China is at war with the Netherlands. That's the last... I don't know why you're doing that. Okay, maybe you should not attack one of the only safe havens for now. Is there even a harbor here for people to dock in, in the Dutch territory? I don't think there is. So maybe they would be okay. I'm sure the AI can still maybe land. I don't know. Belgian Congo. Don't do that. Don't, don't do that. The Congo, I think, would rather have zombies than the Belgians. Europe is looking a lot like uh, South America right now. There is pretty much civilization collapse and Iberia, France, Germany, the Nordics. Canada's having a tough time completely eliminating Greenland. Greenland, oh, and right as I say that. All right, so never mind. Uh, Canada is now Greenland. Wait, uh, vice, yeah, vice versa. I'm just curious, like, who will be able to survive? Wait a second, what is this? Wait, are those zombies? What's happening here? Oh, I think there's just a fire, or are you guys just burning yourself intentionally? They're doing, um, they've gone back to Aztec rituals here in Canadian Mexico. I mean, at this point, you gotta try everything in the book, uh, to eliminate zombies. It comes down to having to sacrifice, like, you know, people on a temple again. It can't hurt to try. Oh, there is a war between the USSR and Canada. Don't, don't get into that war, Canada. Don't do that. Your boats are going to bring back the infection. And just like a, a wave of undead is just slowly eliminating all life. There's a fire in Siberia. That's going to cause a lot of chaos. Like this little watchtower they have here. Oh, there, there are zombies out all the way looking for the uh, Siberian prisons. Kingdom of Spain has officially been destroyed. Some of these uh, European powers have survived because they hold on to colonies for a little bit, but no. I wish zombies could... Wait, why are humans landing in... Do not make these landings. Was this a mistake? Did some of them not realize that South America has completely collapsed? They docked on this harbor and then they were like, oh crap. You guys have made the biggest mistake of your life. You're only fueling the zombie army more in this continent. Australia is doing okay. I'm surprised Australia has been so peaceful. I have a bad feeling that Canada is going to start landing people inside of the Eastern Hemisphere. And uh, that's good. There is a guy that's trying to fight. Who is this guy? This guy's crazy. He's nine. He's nine over here. He has a military uh, person. Uh, he's like the final Soviet soldier fighting for his life. He's just randomly in Germany. Has he been hit yet? Oh, he turned into a zombie. Honestly, that was cool. Oh, here's another guy. 
He turned to a zombie too. Oh, I actually didn't even realize that the UK is, is fine for now. The UK's got 24 people, or I should say the British Empire. Do not have this boat bring anyone back. Don't, okay, good. Yeah, get, get out of here with that boat. The zombies have figured out boating technology. Of course, I knew this was going to happen. Belize has next to been annexed. Well, Belize is still there, kind of. Canada's just making sure that they get that number one spot. There are, you are crazy, Canada. What have you done? There are Canadians that are trying to save the world. They have dropped a huge army to, to stop the zombies, but it, this is, this is a terrible idea. They have regained Iberia, though. This is crazy. How many Canadian population is there? How much is there? There's over a thousand. Technically, with all these range units, it is possible. Just don't go, don't, do not do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. They are slowly, this is crazy. Is there a chance that the humans can actually stop the zombies? They're going to have to do a lot of friendly fire. Don't run out there like that. That is a terrible idea, but this is the best way to do it. Have a huge... Oh man, yeah, see, they are slowly turning into zombies, but they're, they're also reducing zombie population at the same time. Even if their entire force ends up becoming a zombie, if they take out two to three times the zombies before they become a zombie, that's a pretty good idea. That's pretty good odds. Okay, is this guy, like, unstoppable or, or what? No, no, no. He's 182, so... I mean, he might as well turn into a zombie at this point. He's pretty old. Or is there some sort of magic curse? This guy's just not turning into it. Oh, he's he's about to turn into it. This is such a cool, if you think about it, like from a movie standpoint, he knows he's going to turn into a zombie, but at the same time, the goal is just to eliminate as many zombies as possible. If you kill two zombies, but been, then become a zombie, again, those are good ratios. He's out there like Boromir fighting in Lord of the Rings, just trying to take out as much as possible because he knows he doesn't have much longer left. Or maybe he's impervious to this. Is that possible? Yeah, he's a bunch of like magical things going on. He's like armor. He's a veteran. Oh, he is infected. He's also one-eyed and a genius. <laughs> I don't know how many other things you could throw into this guy. I'm thinking all the magical things he has on him though. Uh, does it, Maybe it reduces his chance. Maybe he's slower at turning. The problem is his range, his artillery is like slowly running out. When did the world box AI get so interesting? It's always been interesting, but it's actually getting uh, just every time I play it better and better. There you go. Strike more down. This is, this is crazy. There's, there's, a, they've actually eliminated. Oh, there, there still are zombies here. England, help out. Well, actually you only have 24 people. You guys just need a mate for a while. It looks like Canada's population is slowly being reduced though i mean they've lost a lot of men in europe honestly it was so noble though oh here we go that's what you got to do right there it's been a noble cause i have to admit they've tried to save humanity i'm sure it's only for maybe, maybe it's a selfish cause they want to take over everyone so they can force everyone to drink syrup is there a way to see the population of zombies in the world there's been over 44,000 dead people there's only 28 people infected which is pretty interesting that's just actually just because they've run out of humans to infect at least in the eastern hemisphere they have not gotten to North America, as far as I can tell. Wait, have they? <gasps> oh, no. I think they did. How did the zombies get here, too? It, it is possible for... Oh, I don't know if it is. If, if they're just in Mexico, then... Me oh, they're, they're spread out. They're even in modern-day U.S. territory. I think I think the problem is, is too... It's too crazy. Is that a rhinoceros in Siberia? That is. Unfortunately, it's just kind of like an exponential growth with the zombie infection. Like, even if... I don't think there's any way, like once, there's a certain tipping point, probably about 25% or maybe even less, once 25% of the globe becomes a zombie, I think it's over. Maybe 10%, maybe, just, but we'll see, maybe, it's possible they could stop it still. There's still 300 uh, Chinese citizens kind of all over the place, but without like uh, an organized military, you can't, you can't do it. You're gonna have to be like Canada dropping a whole organized military. So the English Channel not only can stop no-no Germans. Uh, Napoleonic France, pretty much every other force in history, the English Channel can even stop zombies. Like, that's just how you know. It's just too OP. They've had, they've had 24 people here for, like, the last 20 minutes, and they're good. Someone needs to nerf the English Channel. I love this one unit watching Florida. Oh, he's left. Okay, never mind. They don't care about Florida. Come on, Canada. Try again. I, I mean, I know it was, like, for a lost cause, but send them all into Europe. Oh, man. There's so many. Okay, I thought you guys actually did... You, you, got, you got the zombie population down, but... I'm not sure. It could also be just like a massive horde that came from Siberia. Okay. Yeah, never mind. Don't even don't even try. Don't even try. They're just they're like ants all over China. There is one zombie trying to cross over into Japan, but I don't think they can. I think there's just like secret citizens hiding in the in the houses and just like continuing to mate to keep the population numbers up. But I like this because there would be still humans like deep even if like the zombies had taken over entire continents like this there would still be hidden humans like behind enemy lines way behind enemy lines or you know what i wonder if these people are just all in madagascar all the chinese citizens is it look like there's 200 people here it, it maybe maybe not 200 but close no i still see humans turning i see humans still in here there's still some stragglers so sad maybe if they swim across the ocean they can save themselves is there really a war happening i i think i saw like 
some humans fighting for like a second. Technically, I think China's at war with South Africa. I think it's safe to say this is how the world would permanently be in some sort of post-apocalyptic future. The zombies started in South America, somehow made it to Africa and limited almost everything there. China holds power just because of Madagascar. Then there's the Philippines and Japan that is safe, but the only full continent is Canada. And Canada, again, they're only growing. So Canada, if you could somehow, if the humans that are in the east can somehow make it to this continent, they'd still have a pretty nice life. Humans can definitely live on under the leaf people, the leaf empire. I hope that's what they're calling themselves. I'm shocked there wasn't some sort of diplomatic political uh, thing, intervention for the Canadians to annex Ireland and the British, but maybe they don't want that sort of insurance. They don't want that liability. I mean, they are going halfway across the world to save Japan but they don't want to do it for the British, their dad, their own dad too. My only question is how Australia is still doing so well, but I mean, maybe they maybe they are still holding it down. I mean, the zombies look like they want Australia, but the Australians somehow keep it under control. And that also means that New Zealand would be safe. I mean, if Australia falls, New Zealand totally is going to fall too. This is such a crazy earth and world box. And big thanks to my patrons. Drew, I'm stalking you and will kidnap you December 27th, 2022. DJ McSkillet. Oh, fat. Nor Drew's Argentinian $20 grandpa. is a lot true. Bring fan. back Evan Price. Good old Riot. Isaac Kilgore is dead. Noah Gamer. Biotic. Biotic. Orton 69, 6, Patrick. Fresh. Alsh. Robert Anime. E. Rye. The Scottish Tokyo Polish. The Mexican Twicken Hamster. And why am I doing this? 